Welcome, everyone. I'm Raquel Russell, and I lead our government relations and community relations here at Zilla Group. As a city, we're facing many challenges, and I firmly believe that everyone from government to business to the individual has a role to play in addressing those issues and as a city that we face. You know, I firmly believe that, and I'm grateful to work for a company that also believes that. Here at Zilla Group, we have prioritized issues like housing insecurity and homelessness through our social impact programs, like the Home Project, as well as our economic research and our partnerships with government and community leaders. And Zillow's data is pretty startling when it comes to housing affordability. The median rent prices in Seattle today are up 38% since 2013. The bottom third of income earners here in Seattle are spending about 51% of their incomes on rent. It's why Zillow is so passionate about these issues, but it's not the data that drives us, it's the people and the families behind that data. And it's why we're excited and proud to be part of this new initiative with the mayor. And I wanna personally thank the mayor before I in invite her to the podium. I wanna thank her for her leadership and her continued vision to helping us work towards a city where everyone can have the opportunity to live and thrive. Mayor Durkin. Thank you so much, Clark. Well, thank you all for being here this afternoon as we take another important step to address Seattle's challenges, uh, including our homelessness crisis and our upcoming mobility challenges. We have to do this in new, innovative ways. You know, I've said throughout the campaign and as my time as mayor, I believe Seattle has always been that city of the future. We are the city that has invented the future. And today we are home to some of the greatest innovators and the greatest innovating companies. If you look at the talent we have in this city, it is truly remarkable. When I was recently at the US Conference of Mayors, I was talking to the mayors of all the other large cities in America. And I will tell you, every single one of them has a little bit of Seattle envy, as they should, right? Um, and I will tell you another thing is, as I go through, I would, today I met with some of my external outreach team and we were mapping where I'd been in the city, when, how we'd been, and I am out there every day in different parts of the city. And I have yet to run into a single person who doesn't ask, how can I help? We're a city that knows we've got challenges, but we also are a city that has companies, great companies like we hear today, and their employees who want to help meet those challenges. And one of the ways I think that Seattle can meet those challenges is to harness the power of technology, data, and innovation. And that means harnessing the powers of the company, like we're here today at Zillow and my co-chairs. And I'm gonna be signing an executive order to create our city's first innovation advisory council. And this advisory council will help us address some of our most urgent challenges, whether that be homelessness, or mobility as we uh, come close to the time of maximum constraint, as we call it. This new collaboration with Seattle's technology community will help us surface the data, know where the gaps are, look for technology solutions that can make us a more equitable and vibrant city. And we really wanna make sure that this technology and data is harnessed in a way that increases equity rather than hardening inequity. I want to thank Expedia Group as one of my co-chairs, and speaking after me will be Aman Bhutani, Tableau, Andrew Beers is here from there, Artifact Group, uh, Tanya Peck is here, also Amy Wales, who works there, is here today, Technology Access Foundation, and my good friend Trish DeZico, who is the co-founder and executive director, Zillow Group, thank you, of course, for having us here. Um, we also, on the uh, advisory committee, will be Amazon. I know we have people from Amazon here today. Flying Fish, Microsoft, the Washington Technology Industry Association, and others. We're going to be building this out, and we are going to be asking for a number of things from this group and recommendations. Number one is to help us think, where are those solutions that we can get by harnessing this amazing innovative power we have in, in Seattle? We will then commit to helping deliver those technology solutions. They'll advise our city on ways that we could use technology or data to improve how we serve our city. Because the number one uh, goal of our city is to serve the residents of Seattle. So we will be looking at ways to create more innovations, to harness the talent that's here, to move our city forward. 
We know that we've got to bring people together to build solutions around our hardest problems. And this Innovation Council will be one of the ways we do that. Uh, we will take another important step, and I'm going to turn this over to Oman Botani, who will talk to you. He's one of our co-chairs from Expedia Group. And Oman, thank you for being here, and thank you all of my co-chairs for being here today. I'll let him talk, and then we'll sign the executive order. Thank you, thank you so much. So thank you, Mayor. And just for the record, I had paper. He has a tablet. That's not, where, that's not to speak no, to where good. innovation comes from. <laughs> You know, tablets and technology are awesome, but nothing beats good old paper. So you want to back up always. Um, so thank you, Mayor. Thank you for bringing this group together uh, and inviting Expedia Group. Uh, my name is Aman Bhutani. I'm president of Brand Expedia at Expedia Group, Inc. Uh, on behalf of Expedia Group, I am very grateful to be a co-chair on the Innovation Advisory Council. Uh, we are excited to bring our talent and our innovative spirit to the table uh, to help address the needs of the community. Expedia Group is the, on the leading edge of technology and travel innovation. One of our guiding principles is to relentlessly strive for better, and better is what all of us need to do. I am excited to see this group come together and look forward to rolling up our sleeves, setting aside any differences, and getting to work with a bias to action, because for many of our most vulnerable neighbors, these core challenges can be a matter of life and death. As the mayor noted, the Seattle tech community has the attention of the world. At Expedia Group, our purpose is to bring the world within reach, and we think we can make some significant contributions to the Innovation Advisory Council. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Expedia Group's community partners, including Mary's Place, Youth Care, and ACRS, and many others who have been on the front line of the homelessness crisis for years. I bring with me my commitment to learning, learning about the challenges faced by the unsheltered members of our community, None of us have all the answers, and the input of our community partners will be critical to this council's effort. With that, I would like to once again thank the mayor for giving us this opportunity to come, to, to come together to think big and act quickly. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. All right. We have some other, other members of the council here. And Tiffany, who is head of our homeless services at the city. Scooch in, you guys. <laughs> there we go. Harnessing the power of Seattle's innovation <laughs> for the city, for everyone in the city. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now they get to get to work. <laughs> I wonder if there's, a, I'll answer questions if there's any questions. Dan. <laughs> Much is this an outgrowth of um, the head tax debate and the battle over that as a way to address homelessness while involving large businesses? You know, actually, it came before that debate. I, during the campaign, I talked about how we needed to harness the power of Seattle to solve Seattle's challenges. And so I've been having conversations with the businesses in Seattle and some of the innovators in Seattle since I became mayor. Um, and we were able to solidify it today, but some of the first challenges we will, I will ask for their advice and tackling on is the area of homelessness. We have some particular challenges we think we can get help on, and mobility. We know we're entering the period of maximum constraint, and we have some of the companies here who know the most about getting products to market. So I think between that and between some of the very you know, talents like Expedia and Zillow have, that we'll be able to harness that for a lot of our challenges. Um, can you help make this sort of tangible? Understand? Yeah, I, I'll give you a couple of things. So, for example, um, on in the area of trying to shelter the people experiencing homelessness, right now our navigation team goes out, and they literally are on their phone calling shelter to shelter to say, do you have space, do you have space? I could pick up my phone today, and I could probably reserve a room on any seven continents except for maybe Antarctica for tomorrow. And so one of the things we want to do is, what is the data we have? 
And how do we make sure that we have that data to connect people? So ideally, it'd be great, for example, is it feasible for us with the data we have to build an app so that every social service provider could look on their phone and say, look, this shelter has five spots. We can, you can go there. Um, another thing we might be able to do is there is a host of support services that people experiencing homelessness might qualify for. Social security payments, veteran payments, uh, uh, food benefits. But yet, many of them get disconnected from those, and we aren't helping them connect with them because there's not a one-stop shop. I think there could be a technology solution for that. So that when someone, before they leave the shelter, they come in the shelter, you could take with them what their personal history is, and it may be they qualify for hundreds of dollars a month in payments that they're not getting. Or before someone leaves Harborview Hospital or the jail, to sit down with them before they're discharged to go through their personal history and say, look, we can reconnect you with your veterans benefits or your food stamps or the like. And so they're not walking out the door with nothing for them. So I think there's a range of things that we'll be able to use this for. Is there a certain uh, uh, amount of money committed by these companies or amount of time, staff time, or anything uh, concrete? They're first going to scope things, but they have committed to solutions. Um, and we have heard from company to company as I'm talking to them is tap us for our know-how. We want to help you. We have some of the most talented people on the globe right here in Seattle who care about Seattle. So the first thing I'm going to ask these great people to do is here's some challenges we think we have. There's other ones that we brought to the table and then give very concrete advice to the city on here's a solution we think you can go to work on. Here's the resources we think it will take. So they are, they are in for both their, I, they have offered that they will help us scope it and to give us the resources to help us fix it. Other questions? You get one more then. You're done. Uh, were, there, were, there, were there any companies that you asked to be part of this that declined? No, uh, to the contrary. The more I talk to people when they hear that this is active, more people want in. Um, and you'll see over the next few weeks, we have a number of kind of innovative uh, advisory committees we're going to be launching to help on the whole issue of affordability. And this is one component of what we think we can do to harness the great talent here in Seattle to make Seattle better. Um, and this is going to range from not just what are those technological solutions, but really to make sure in this time when we are so stretched as a city, that as we add technology throughout our city, we're not hardening those divides. We're not increasing inequity. How do we make sure we're a more equitable place, a more welcoming place, so that as we not just roll out new technology but look at what we have, we make sure that it's accessible for everyone. So thank you very much. Thank you for being here, and thank you.